Well, cold and breezy out there right now, but not nearly as windy as we saw yesterday and last night. And actually, those winds creating some flooding, coastal flooding, when you combine strong winds with the high tides, often you get flooding at the coast and even into rivers. Let's take a look at this picture from the Asonet River in Massachusetts. You can see the water's creeping up right to those swing sets at a local park. So. Obviously some problems down there. The good news again is that we're not going to see the breezes create these type of conditions today. We also had some reports of actually the Bonnet Shores Causeway being closed due to some coastal flooding. All right, none of that for today. Live in Point Doppler 12, not showing any precipitation as we scan the skies over southern New England. 26, your temperature right now in Attleboro, 26, Woonsocket, 26, Tiverton, 26, Charlestown. We're 28 right now in Westerly. That's not that unusual for this time of year. And right now those wind chills are in the teens. So if you're headed out early, make sure you bundle up. A nice view over the city of Providence right now. The temperature at 26, wind chill is 15. Winds right now out of the southwest at 13 miles an hour. Satellite picture showing a clear slot here over southern New England. There are some clouds off to the west and some snow in Pennsylvania, upstate New York. Now as the front pushes in some colder air today, I'm not expecting the snow to make it through. There could be a few ocean effect snow flurries uh, throughout the week and across the Cape, but even those expected to be quite minimal. We will see a few of these clouds kind of move through off and on today with those temperatures on the chilly side. You, so you can see across the northeast a sliver of Cooler air, we'll call it, not that bad for this time of year, but then colder air off to our west in the Great Lakes, Chicago 16, Cleveland 19. We pick up on the chunk of cold air, especially tonight and tomorrow as it starts to rush in from the northwest. So for today, 33 by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe 34, 35 degrees, the best we're going to do for high temperatures. But if we hit those numbers, it should be very brief. The majority of the day will be spent in the upper 20s and low 30s, 32 by around 5 o'clock, and then those temperatures start to tumble throughout the evening. South Shore temperatures today in the mid-30s, 36 Charlestown, 35 Westerly, Newport at 36 degrees, and Wickford at 35, Coventry getting up to around 35. And with those winds between 10 and 15, with a few gusts up to 20, wind chills will be in the upper teens and 20s for a good part of the day. Barely the freezing mark up here in Burville, maybe not even getting there. 31 year high temperature, 32 in Foster. Situates at 34, Johnson 35 in Cumberland, a high temperature of around 32. And for Eastern Massachusetts, temperatures also in the mid 30s. New Bedford 35, Taunton 34, Fall River 35, and Seekonk at 35. Okay, a big playoff game tonight between the Pats and Broncos. We put together a scoreboard for you, but this doesn't contain scores. These are uh, temperatures. You can see kickoff temperature I'm putting at 25 degrees right around the time of kickoff. Now I think this is more of the time the pregame show starts. You know how it goes in the playoffs. Pregame goes on for a while. I believe the kickoff around 8.15 or 8.30. Not quite as much wind as last night, but still a breeze out there, so there's wind chills between about 0 and 10 degrees by the time the game is wrapping up. Actual temperature by the time the, the uh, game is ending around 16 degrees. The breezes may actually save us from plunging into the single digits tonight. If we didn't have the breezes, I think those temperatures would easily make the single digits. But it really doesn't matter when you have the wind and temperatures in the teens. You're cold either way. Seven-day future cast shows a cold start tomorrow, 11 on Sunday. 24 on Sunday afternoon. I think in terms of sunshine, tomorrow is the brighter of the two days, at least the next two days. Then on Monday, 32, mostly sunny. Could see a few snow showers uh, mixing in on Monday night, changing to mostly rain on Tuesday. And then a few snakes, few, not snakes, a few <laughs> snowflakes possible as we head into Friday morning. Right now, that does not look like a big snowstorm. I'm now in the business of forecasting animals like snakes. Like snakes instead in of the weather. forecast? What's yeah. going on? Hopefully not. I don't like, warming. Yeah, I don't like snakes, so hopefully we don't see any of that. Oh, I don't like them either. All right, thanks, Pete. Yep. Time now to check in what's happening this weekend. Eyewitness News reporter Melissa Sardelli has her eye on.